Hey everyone, this is Kevin Tanner coming to you with another review of a Micro Galaxy Squadron ship. This is going to be the Millennium Falcon Batu version from Galaxy's Edge. So before we launch into it, if you could please go ahead and like and subscribe to the YouTube page. Also, if you really like uh, micro stuff, if you want to go over to Facebook and join up with the group Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Action Fleet Collectors Group. It's a group that I run with myself and a few of my friends from all over the world. Uh, we have uh, really lots of content on there related to anything Star Wars Micro. Micro Collection, Action Fleet, Micro Machines, and then now Micro Galaxy Squadron. Tons of content on there. Uh, it's a great community. Feel, please feel free to come over and join with us. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and launch into the review. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the um, box it comes in, some of the packaging. We'll take a look at the uh, figures, the ship. We'll do some measurements and some comparisons and uh, go from there. So first, just starting with box. So here is the outside of the box. Um, really nice display. You can see you've got the Rebel logo up there on the side. On the side of it, we end up getting uh, a scene here of the Resistance X-Wing as well as the uh, First Order TIE Fighters and then the Falcon. On the back, it does show some of the features that come with it, um, different things you can do. And then on the side here, you got lights and sound. On the bottom, you end up getting whatever that other stuff is. Um, so inside the box here, you do end up getting this uh, really nice um, cardboard display stand. So you can see obviously the Resistance X-Wing as well as the TIE Fighters on there. Um, this is, uh, uh, keep in mind too, that whenever they're putting any of the ships on the packaging, they are actual renders of actual 3D models that they've put together to be able to release. So I would say it's a pretty good bet that we're gonna end up getting a Resistance X-Wing as well as some First Order TIE Fighters, which is uh, pretty cool. So the other thing that does come in the box is you do get the directions as well for operating the Falcon. So just a one sheet of paper here. So this is uh, similar to what we get with the other Falcon. Um, you obviously can see the difference in the figures, the difference in the design of the ship. Um, and then down here on the bottom, it's got uh, ultimately what you can do as well as uh, on the back here, it shows you all of the different play features of it, which is um, cool. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the figures really quick. So starting out with the figures, so here is the, well, here's the little figure pack it comes in. So you get Chewbacca, you get V Marathi, you get Hondo, and then R5P8. So here is the Chewbacca that you get. So um, comparing this to the Chewbacca that you get in the standard version, you can see they're pretty much the same. There might be a slightly darker hue on the Galaxy's Edge one um, versus the, the standard release. Maybe a little bit darker paint on the belt that he's wearing, but generally the same sculpt. So then you've got V. Marathi. Um, so it's super impressive that they're able to get the paint on this um, figure, especially with the blue on there, with the strap of the belts. The sculpt on this is really nice. Um, you know, you can see some of the paint misses, but I mean, to be perfectly honest, you're machine painting a tiny little figure. So, um, I mean, I accept the fact that it's not going to be exactly perfect, but still fantastic, great colors. On the figure then we get hondo so hondo has got his jacket on which is nice got the goggles on um, you can see the detail here on the you know whatever it is that dangles off of his face the belt buckle is painted gold which is nice turn him around see what his back looks like um, all of these figures articulate the same way as the others arms move legs move so um, really well done on that. And then here is the droid. So the really cool thing about this is uh, this top part here is painted. The bottom part is not, but still pretty impressive. I uh, really like the shark's teeth that are on this guy. Um, but just really impressive figures. It's nice to see that in this series, 
uh, or at least the later releases now, they're actually starting to put a little more paint on the figures, which is nice. Um, I think that was one thing that we have all wanted. So here's the size. So we can see here Chewbacca, about an inch and an eighth, same height as the Action Fleet figures. We got Hondo, Hondo is an inch. The Marathi, just slightly under an inch, seven eighths. And then here is the, the droid there. So slightly more than an inch and a half, five eighths. Um, so those are the figures. So now when we go ahead and take a look at the ship itself, you obviously can see the difference in the color here just looking at it from this view. Um, so I can't tell whether or not that base color is about the same. The base color might be slightly lighter with the Galaxy's Edge version and the Batu version um, versus the standard release, but you can definitely tell a difference in the wash. So the wash that's on the standard version is definitely a black and on the Batu version is much more blue. So you can really see that if you're looking right in here um, in this little recess, you can see how blue that is on the Batu version versus the standard release. Um, now the sculpt on this is the exact same, really no difference there. Um, obviously just a big difference in the color of it. So all the paint looks to be applied in the same exact place. Little difference in the color obviously because of the difference in the, uh, in the shading. Then we flip it over and see the underside. So again, the two versions more blue. And you can see from this view that all of the uh, features are the same. So you've got the, excuse me, the landing gear that still works the exact same. Um, again, the sculpt is the exact same, there's really no difference there. And so now we'll go ahead and take a look at um, uh, some of the other differences here on the top, which obviously the biggest difference is the radar dish. The radar dish is rectangular versus circular. So now if we go ahead and pop this open and see what the inside looks like, you'll see that the inside again is the same as we have in the other version. So you have uh, this little uh, rotating turret gun that operates the same way. You can open that up, put a figure inside of it. The gun is the exact same on the top. Um, there is the little hatch right here that opens. Um, I haven't been able to pop that out yet, but that hatch is the same as what we're going to see on the other version. And then uh, right here, you get the little uh, ramp that goes down as well. You have uh, in here is where you put in the batteries. So it takes three AAA batteries. And then you have the same uh, buttons here to operate the sound. Sounds are the exact same. So you have your firing mechanism, then you have your start, and then you have the motion activated. So as you move it around, it obviously is gonna go ahead and change the sound. Uh, this does have the same false start, so I'm gonna try this really quick and see whether or not I can get it to work. Um, so you do have a specific order that you need to do it in. I think it's the fourth one is where it will false start. So you kind of have to let it run through its whole um, thing. So that's two. That's three. Should be on this next one. No, didn't do it. No, can't get it to work. So I did have it actually function here uh, as I was testing it out before I shot the video. It does do it, um, but you have to do it in a specific order. I don't know exactly what the order is. So that is that. Um, now, if we look at this compared to the interior of the standard release, we'll see that again, everything is the same. So there we go. Interior is the ex exact same difference in the wash. Inside the cockpit, you get the same features as what we have on the other. It is a four-seater cockpit. Um, you do have the controls up the front, which is nice. I mean, 
I am super pumped about this. I, I love the Falcon. I think the detail on this is uh, really good. I do like that they're presenting a little different option here in terms of the color. Whether or not you think it's something that you want, obviously that's up to you to make that decision. So now we'll just do some quick measurements. Again, the measurements are gonna be the same. So this is about seven and a half inches wide. Front to back, it's probably like nine or 10 and a half inches maybe, uh, maybe 10 inches. And then from a height perspective with the gun on there, it's about two and three quarter inches to the bottom. But the landing gear out, obviously it's a, it's a little bit um, taller. So um, then just a, a quick comparison with this to the Action Fleet version. So obviously you can see a massive difference. Um, the Action Fleet version is significantly smaller. And um, I mean, it's just hard to, hard to say which one's better. Uh, I really do like the Micro Galaxy version. I think it's great for the size that it is. It does scale relatively well to all of the other ones. You know, the scale is obviously going to be off a little bit on this because if they did make this in scale relative to some of the other ships, this thing would be massive. Um, but still a fan. So uh, either way, if you liked the video, please uh, like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments below. Definitely check us out on our Facebook page too, uh, on the Action Fleet and Micro Galaxy page. And uh, thanks for watching. I did just notice one difference in the cockpit of the two different options. Um, so in the Batu version, you actually will see that there are little leg um, clamps in there to be able to hold the figures in place, which is a great addition because definitely in the standard version, you don't have that in the seats. So the figures will just flop around inside. So I do like that they did that. You know, maybe if we get another release of the Falcon in the future, we also see that uh, that different um, seat configuration in there.